According to the FBI, there are over 1.5 million home break-ins a year. How do you avoid being one of those houses? You get an alarm system. With Simply Safe, you can install your own alarm system and know you're protected with professional monitoring. In this video, I'm going to show you the system I ordered and how to set it up. But first, I want to say hi, my name is Craig and this is my Tech Talk. I love learning about new stuff like this and sharing it with you. So if you have any comments or questions, please share them. Also, check out the descriptions. I'll put a link to Simply Safe uh, so you can check out their product and learn more about them. This here is Simply Safe second generation system. Uh, Simply Safe is really the leader and the first of its kind in the do it yourself alarm system. They wanted to create a alarm that wasn't ridiculous price wise and you didn't have to rely on professionals that come drill holes and run wire all through your house. So they created this system that's Bluetooth enabled. Their first system looked like it was out of the 80s. It was a weird almond color, off-white color. Uh, so I went with a different alarm system, one that had apps and more integration with other stuff. Ultimately, I wasn't very happy with it, so I went back to check out Simply Safe. And knowing they started this and they were on their second generation, I wanted to get this. What really kind of tipped me over the edge with getting it was that everything was refined. It they were on their second generation. They have so many positive reviews. There is professional monitoring, so if something does happen, it does alert the authorities, but it also has an app that'll alert me beyond just phone calls. There is also camera integration, and with that monthly service fee of $24.99 a month, which sounds like a lot, but professional monitoring, it's cheaper than going with some of the bigger companies and having to sign a contract and buying all the stuff from them. $24.99 a month includes your cameras too. So if you are using it Ring or Nest or another service to have camera backups, you could have it all integrated with the Simply Safe system, which I find is pretty impressive. To me, it was really important to get a system because down the street, uh, someone did have a break in and they actually caught the two guys, which was great. With my travel schedule and my wife traveling at times, and then when we take the family away, I want to know where our house is protected the best we can and to have a good deterrent. This seemed like the right answer to me. I'm gonna go over all the components of this. Afterwards, we'll go through and set it up and show you how easy it is to set this whole system up. This here is the base station and the brain of the system. It has a siren built in. It is smash proof. If it's disconnected, it will connect with cellular. Everything connects to this with low power Bluetooth. It has one cable that plugs in at the bottom. Everything else is wireless. You have in the package the keypad to arm, disarm, also your panic button on here. This has sticky tape on it to mount it to the wall, also Bluetooth. Next you have the sensors. You can order these individually. They're $14.99. You get so many of these included depending on the package. You'll place one end on your door, the other end on the door jam. If they're separated, it'll cause the alarm to go off. I ordered a bunch of these. I needed like seven downstairs, you know, four doors, three windows to take care of, and then I have two upstairs. With a lot of the packages, you get the motion sensors included. These here can be put in the corner of a room, mounted flat to a wall. The idea is that it animals under 40 pounds won't trigger this. In my house, I have a 92 pound dog, so we can place these in different points upstairs. This goes in the master bedroom, this is gonna go in the hall. Come in handy, but aren't a necessity. You do need the base station, you do need the sensors, and the keypad to arm all of that. Some other included items we got were 105 decibel siren. I could put this upstairs for an additional siren to go off and make it even noisier. Panic button for upstairs. I do have sliding glass doors is a glass break sensor. This right here, if it hears the sound of glass breaking, it will set the alarm off. So if someone does shatter a window but doesn't open it and trigger it through the sensors, ideally the glass break will pick it up. 
I have a smoke alarm that will trigger an alert if the smoke alarm goes off. I have the keypads here. These are a lot slimmer and sleeker than the initial ones that came out in the first version. Last, uh, they were including a free camera with the order. Uh, I was hoping for something that could be mounted onto a wall. This does need to be plugged in. It does have a motion sensor on it to start recording. This was included in the package, which was great, but I made the mistake of not removing the second one. So now I have two cameras. So one will go in the kitchen, cover the sign glass doors, and the other will go in the living room. That was a look at all the pieces that make up my alarm system. The total for this was about $700. So it's a lot, but my whole house has some protection all around it. And there are two cameras with that. So it's really not too bad to me. It's not bad for the peace of mind. So now let's look at actually setting this up. Step one, find a spot for your base station and you're going to need to plug it in. And then you'll remove the batteries. Welcome to Simply Safe. Next step is to place the door panel. We're gonna go for it right about here next to the switch. This has the double stick tape on the back. So we're gonna peel that off. This will drive me crazy if it's crooked. So I have a level right here. And we thought about whether we wanted it, this panel to be visible from the window. If someone peeked over the little windows we have. And after thinking about it for a little bit, I thought it would be great to have it visible. That way it's a deterrent for anybody who's thinking about breaking in. They see that this isn't a good choice. This does have essentially buttons around the edges to navigate around. And to activate the panel, you could touch on the body. To activate it, let's see it's searching for the base. So now I entered my pin and clicked on the side. Install your devices. Follow the mounting instructions in the guide book or mobile app. The next step is you can actually slide this off of its base right here. Take it where we need to go for the next step. Next is the sensors. It's made up of two parts. You have kind of the brains and then a magnet there. And once the two are separated by more than two inches, it will cause the alarm system to go off. Now here, I can't really fit it in that gap. So now it's kind of figuring out what makes the most sense. Do I put this on the jam here and see if they connect enough? You know, do I kind of let this stick out a little? I think I'm gonna try that. Get this right on the edge. And you want to put the, there's a little oval right there that you want on the inside. I'm going to center it up with this part of the door. There are holes, so you can mount these using included screws. That is an option there. I'm not choosing to utilize that. I'm going to use a double stick tape. I kind of let that, the tape doesn't go all the way over. So there is room for it it to overlap, which is smart of them. Press button on a device to test and name. Sensor. Ooh, Detected. nice. There's a, a button on top. Now choose a name. This is going to be Sensor. front door. Name. Nice. Press button on device to test and name. That's it, done. Done installing. If you're done installing, hit next or go back and keep adding devices. We're going to go back. Cool. We just did one sensor. Let's go do a sliding glass door. What I'm going to do on the sliding glass door is put the sensor up higher. I didn't notice this the first time, but there's a little button on top to press. It's good to know that's there now. So I think I'm going to put this up here. No. I think it might make more sense to put this here on the door and put the sensor up high like that. Put the magnet side right there. This part right up here. Grab the keypad, press the button on the device. Entry sensor. Detective, now choose a name. Wow. Wow, very easy. Okay, other. Enter device name. Looks like we're going old school here. We'll call this 
Oh, I think I've run out of digits. Okay. We'll just say that. Living slid. Entry sensor. Named. There we go. That's how you do a custom name. I'm just going around to the next one. Let's do a window. On this window, I think it makes sense to go right up here and then put the little magnet right there. Now, the magnet right here. Now, something to keep in mind, you don't want this to drag, so you don't want it too high up. And also, if you are going to put this on the inside somewhere, don't bury the button that's on here. Next, we're going to remove the tab that right on the edge, as close as we can there. Especially since they are, it's raised up higher. So then I would push the button. Entry sensor. Detective. Now choose a name. We're going to call this the living room. Entry sensor. Named. We have two sliding glass doors, and this is the halfway point between them. So I'm going to put the glass break sensor right here. And now, since we're not going to have motion sensors in here, we'll have sensors on all the windows, and we'll have this if anyone breaks the glass. So that's a look at setting up the Simply Safe system. I like it. It's a pretty cool system. I was really impressed that all of that stuff was done through the keypad and I didn't have to use an app. It was simple. It required to just basically label it. I pushed a button, it found it, I labeled it. Those are low power sensors on there so it doesn't burn through batteries. To arm it, it's simple. I hit, I am home. It's going to say home. It says, says it on the base station, but that's plugged back in. Now if I want to turn it off, I just hit the off button and it's going to ask for my pin. I can't let you see it. Now it's going to say off. Now I am going away. I'm going to see a countdown timer. I'm going to have one minute to get out of the house before it arms. It's going to give me a little warning out of the keypad. It's going to give me a warning out of there. I just hit. Now let's say I want to turn it off. Now I'm going to hit the off button. And now it's off. I entered my pin. It just says off on here. Um, it's low tech. It's effective. I'll make another video going into the app and setting up the cameras. I mean, it's it's boring. You could actually go in to set up pins. You just set set up, add a new pin, and pick a pin, label the person's name. That's it. I mean, the really you pick the volume of the noise it makes when you open and close a window or door, but it's simple. It's simply safe. I feel good about this. Uh, the $24.99 a month doesn't bother me, especially with the two cameras enabled, with professional monitoring. Anyways, I've been really happy with this so far. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please, let me know in the comments section. I do have a question for you. Do you have a DIY alarm system or a professional company alarm system? And what is your experience with them? So leave your answers in the comments section. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with a friend. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of when new videos come out and check out future videos. I appreciate it. So thank you for watching this video and have a great day. Bye.